Hey everybody, welcome back to Maintenance Made on a Budget. Today we're going to be showing you how to fix a running toilet. Hear that sound? That's the toilet leaking. So I'm going to show you by replacing the flapper valve today, but also while I have the toilet open, the tank, I'll show you what the other issues could be that cause a running toilet. Um, all the running toilet means is that if the water is continuously filling up that tank, as you might be able to hear there, and then when the level drops, it fills it up again. So of course that's gonna cause you some high water bills, right? So I'll show you how to get that started. Before we do that, if you like these videos, maintenance made on a budget videos that I do, please hit the like button and subscribe. And I will continue to do uh, self projects that uh, are cheap to do on a budget. Instead of calling a plumber, do it yourself. So we'll get started. First thing we're going to want to do is shut the isolation valve, water supply, tank, okay, and you'll want to have a flathead screwdriver or a Phillips head screwdriver, depending on what, let's see if we can see what's going on here depending on what this screw is. On this one, it's a flat tip. All right, so there's your flapper. And we can see the water level is low, so it's leaking by pretty bad. That actually looks like an oversized flapper. So they might have the wrong, maybe someone tried to do this before and they put the wrong one in there. Um, but either way, then you have your control arm and the chain, right? So we'll go ahead and open that up to get the water drained out. And what I'm going to do first is go ahead and replace the flapper valve, or is what it's called. And that one's really the easiest one to do first. Um, you can pop that off, take it with you to Home Depot or whatever your department store is, and more than likely they'll be able to get you the right size. They do come in different sizes and shapes. Um, they also have universal flappers, um, but you want to avoid any repeated trips to the store. Just pop this one off and take it with you. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and take this off. And the way you do that is you just simply grab this chain here and it should come out. With one hand, it's hard. My assistant is off doing his homework so i have to do this by myself today and then um the two sides are usually just okay this one's um it's just a plastic piece so they're just two plastic holes and you can see there that pops off so it's just a hole right you either have this design or you'll have a, a hook design that'll just snap into the two side pieces there all right, so looking at this one, uh, my suspect, suspect, yeah, my, um, I suspect that this is just oversized because you can tell when it was clamped in there, these were kind of pushed in like that. Any misalignment is going to cause this not to seal properly because down there you have the um, sealing part, right? This is where the flapper closes and then allows the fill valve assembly to fill up this water, this holding tank. So if you get anything caught in between this flapper and that uh, drain hole, you're going to have constant leak pipe. And as the chain is hooked up, you know, the lever pulls up as it comes down, right? It'll flap down onto that ring and seal the tank. So any slight debris or uh, mineral buildup from the chlorine that's in the city water or any of the other minerals that are in here over time gets built up around this lip. So once it seals, it could start to cause leak by. Very slow leak by. The chain itself could get caught up into there when it's, when it's closed. So the new one I have looks like this okay and it's got a plastic reinforcing uh, ring around it right so 
that there looks um, pretty sturdy. So we'll go, and then as you can see, it's got the, the, the just they just snap on. All right. So we'll go ahead and put that back in. Let's, I'll snap the back one in. And then we'll snap the side one in here. And then we're going to hook the chain up. Now I've already sized my chain link. And you can just simply do that by, you know, clipping your, clipping your pin where you need the, the chain length to be. And the way I do that is I, I will just clip on the first hole on the, contr the control lever here. Hope I can get that. Okay, let's see if I can do this with one arm here. There we go. Okay. And basically that's how you want to have your chain. Just ensure that it doesn't, it's not so long that it, it co uh, coils up on the bottom there because it could, get, it could get caught with the flapper as it comes down. Okay. Now, before I go ahead and realign the water, I want to go over this plunger. One of the other possibilities that could be at fault if, if you have this design is this here is a float. So you have a float that rides up and down right here. This is the float that rides up and down with the water level. And when it gets up to a certain height, it'll cut off the filling and allow your tank to sit where it is. So sometimes that float can be stuck. You can use a flat tip and you take your screwdriver and you either turn left or right or wherever you need to, to adjust it. All right, and then, so you can do that by going back, realigning the fill. Okay. And uh, you can see water comes in through the hose, goes in through here, out to the bottom and starts to fill the tank up. Now, as it came out, if you had any problems with your flapper, it would be leaking right through that flapper down into the drain hole, right? I don't see any water spraying on the fill valve assembly. Sometimes when, you, when there's something wrong, you'll see water gushing out. Um, looks like the float is rising up with the water level and it closed itself off completely. And we don't have any water flowing into the over, over spill, overflow valve. As the water fills up, it'll just continuously go down there and go straight down to your, your drain, uh, the hole that supplies the water to the bowl and the drain. So if this was still running, maybe your float, right? Maybe your float got stuck. You would then adjust this left or right and see if it does anything. And usually that's all you have to do to adjust that. So the two main issues is your flapper valve could be bad. <clears throat> I, 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 this particular case, the one that they had in there was oversized, what it looks like to me. Um, so this definitely stopped the issue. If that wasn't the case and you already suspect that the flapper's fine, go to your float, um, uh, I mean, uh, your, your fill valve assembly. The other design is that you'll see something like this, but it'll have a arm with a big ball floating on this one. And it'll be essentially like this where the float would go down and then come back up like that. And then you'll have a big ball. That one will have an adjusting screw somewhere on the top here as well. Now, if for some reason this was not able to be fixed or you saw that everything was spraying out of here and you already know that's the problem, again, you'll go and isolate this valve. And if you come down, you'll usually have a supply line. You'll have to drain the tank, shut the supply water, and then you'll take that off. And then right up under here, you'll have to get channel locks, pliers, and then just loosen that and then that'll thread off of that black piece and then you'll come back up and take this assembly out and you just pull it out and then you'll install a new one and they're not too expensive and these flappers will run you probably i'm not exact i know they're right around 10 bucks or less they do have some expensive ones i remember when i was looking to get this one i think one of the universal ones was like 12 to 15 dollars which is crazy you don't need all that just get the one that's the right size and put it in Okay, hopefully this video helped. Um, hopefully that stops your running toilet. If you like, again, 
to see videos like this. I do a lot of self-maintenance videos on a budget. Most items are dealing with household items and I also have automotive stuff. So please hit the like button and subscribe again if you're interested to see more videos in the future. Thank you.